Hi everyone, and welcome to a review of the Marmot Ether Dry Clone. This is a lightweight lined windshirt or wind jacket. I weighed mine, this is a size small, came in at 242 grams on my scales, it's about 8.5 ounces. It has a two layer construction. The outer layer is a lightweight ripstop nylon with a DWR coating, so it will keep a light shower off as well as most of the wind. So that provides protection from the elements. The inner layer is designed to wick all the sweat away from your body. So it, to the touch it feels like a really soft fleece. It's not attached to the outer nylon shell apart from at the seams so it's free floating in there. And what it has is actually what's something called a denier gradient. So the fibres on, on this side of the liner are thicker than the fibres on the other side of the liner next to the outer shell. This makes it easier for moisture to travel through the liner so from the thicker fibres it will travel much easier onto the thinner fibres where it will disperse and then travel outwards through the nylon shell away from your body. It all sounds very good um, but the real question is does it work and I would say that yes it does I've never felt this to be wet or from sweat on the inside. I've never felt it damp. It really it just moves it away from your skin onto the other side of the liner. So at least it's away from your skin. It doesn't travel through the outer shell as quickly as it travels through the liner. But if it's through the liner then it's away from your skin and you're feeling dry and comfortable. Obviously it's important to use a good wicking t-shirt underneath otherwise your t-shirt will just absorb the moisture and this will be pretty much useless if all the moisture is being held by your t-shirt. So on to some of the features of the jacket now. It has two hand warmer pockets. These are not rucksack or harness compatible. The zips they use on the pockets are the hidden zips when you zip them up you can't see the zip much it's just a small line with a zipper at the top it keeps things nice and neat there is a full length zipper down the middle with a small storm flap on the inside just to keep any wind from coming through the zipper the cuffs are elasticated so they give a nice snug fit around the wrist they can be rolled up the arms to a degree, um, but not not much. Sort of halfway up the forearm at most before you start overstretching them. The around the cuff, there is no inner liner, so that there isn't that grey dry climb liner. This just makes it a bit easier. It's a bit smoother taking it on and off putting it on over your hands where it's a bit tighter. Under the arms there is mesh rather than nylon outer so this is a lot more breathable. You've still got the inner liner on the inside so it's exactly the same on the inside but with the mesh outer just increases breathability. Um, it's not like a not like pit zips where it's optional so it's always there so sometimes on really windy days you can feel it coming through but it does certainly help with ventilation one chest pocket for accessories this does have as well a headphone port on the inside so just a small opening there to thread your headphones through the inside of the jacket again keeping things neat the jacket will fold into its own chest pocket so I'll demonstrate for you now so the pocket does actually have a proper double sided zip Pockets are, that pocket is mesh lined as well so if you want to use that for ventilation you can do so easily stuff it in it's not too tight a fit for the whole jacket so you don't need to force it, just ease it into the corners. And 
Now pack down nicely. It's, it's not a sort of perfect rectangular shape. It's sort of narrower at one end and wider at the other. So it's a good shape for fitting into the awkward spaces in your rucksack. And then do the zip. As I said, a proper double zip. So you've got a same zipper on this side to do it up easily. And that's the pack size. As you can see, it tapers off slightly to the end. Pack's now fairly flat. Also has a small hanging loop if you want to clip it to a Caribbean or the outside of your pack. Nice and compact package. While I've got it off, I'll show you the hood closure system. So on the back, you've got a small loop that says Marmot on it. That's reflective, as is all the Marmot logos around the jacket. And on the inside, you see just above the label and hanging loop, there's a small opening where inside is a small loop. So it's just a popper closure like that. And when you're not using it, it tucks away into its own little pocket in there. Again, just keeping things really neat, really slick, tidy. And then the hood just rolls away like that. And you pass it back through the loop with the Marmot logo. And then through the popper up. And this rolled out of the way if you don't need it. Just like that. If you do need it, it's a fairly snug fitting hood. The whole jacket is a fairly snug fit and athletic, athletically cut. Um, I would have liked a bit more articulation in the arms. They do pull a bit when I bend my arms. Um, I could have gone up a size, but it fitted well around the body, the size small, so I went with that. It's, it's not too bad around the arms. Just pulls tight a bit. So the hood, like I said, is a fairly snug fit. It's elasticated around the edge, so you've got no volume adjusters. It does just give a fully snug fit without the need of any adjusting. It's, it's a decent size. It just about comes to the, sort of the edge of my hairline, and it covers a good portion of my face. M most importantly, my ears. Just give you a better look there. It's a well-formed hood, so you've got the panel that runs over the top that follows the shape of your head. So it's well put together. Um, wearing a hat underneath can make it a bit tight but for the most part it's a pretty good hood, nice snug fit. Not lined with the dry climb liner, so you've just got the nylon shell. Again, just to make it a bit smoother, putting it on and off. You can whip the dry climb liner, it just goes up. You can see the grey contrast with the red there, it just comes up around the back of the neck, and that's where it ends. The lower hem is elasticated and features one elastic adjuster on the inside, which is kept, passes through this loop, and you've got the cord lock just on the inside there. So again, just keeping everything nice and neat, you can adjust that. If you want a tighter fit, and it's elasticated as well. So it's always going to give you a snug fit, and that's really important for keeping the wind out, keeps you warmer. Um, people don't realize how much heat they can lose just by having a loose hem, lower hem. Obviously, if you want a bit more ventilation, you're quite warm, you can loosen this off. Put it out like that, and you get a slightly looser fit. Doesn't trap so much body heat, allows a bit to escape from the bottom. It's always good to have as much adjustability as you can with all the hems and cuffs just to make it easier to regulate your own body temperature.
So that's all the features of the Marmot Ether Dry Climb. It's quickly become one of my favourite jackets to wear, especially now it's autumn time, it's starting to get a bit colder. Um, I wear this just simply over a t-shirt and I'm fine for the entire day. Um, I wore it yesterday, it was about 3 degrees and I just wore it over a lightweight t-shirt and I was comfortable the entire day. Didn't get too hot, not too cold, apart from rest stops, you know, obviously you cool down a bit, but walking, walking uphill and walking downhill, obviously a bit warm going uphill, cooler going downhill, but I was definitely comfortable the whole time. It was a bit windy as well, it kept all, kept most of the wind off me, it's cold wind, but yeah, really comfortable jacket, the kind of jacket you can wear all day and be comfortable all day. You could use it for running as well. Um, I will consider running in it when it gets a bit colder. The liner as well as wicking does add a fair amount of warmth. So it would have to be pretty cold for me to run in this but if it does get that cold I will be using it for running. Other than that it's you know, like I said a really nice jacket, really sleek, well featured, works really really well. I mean you stay dry, you stay protected from the wind. It's all in a fairly compact lightweight package so not much more I could ask for. If you want to know anything about this jacket just pop the question in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. Otherwise uh, thanks for watching and like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more.